up YouTube. It's I Can Swim here with another tech tutorial made easy. In today's video, we're going to be talking about an error message I'm sure you've seen at least once, and you are not alone. A lot of people have been posting about this online that I've been reading, and still there's no fix for it. So, I found a little, we're going to call this a helper. It's going to help half resolve, like temporarily resolve this issue. Um, and it'll get you back up in streaming or whatever you were doing that caused this error. So the reason this error occurs is RAM or random access memory. That's the short term storage of computers and your PlayStation. Um, so what that handles is temporary tasks and kind of like how many the hands that are going to be working on a job essentially. They're going to be assisting with that. So when PlayStation was creating their console, didn't put enough RAM in the console, probably a budget thing I'm going to guess. Um, which means that things like this happen um, because there's just not enough memory to assist with tasks such as streaming. So again, this is a temporary fix. I don't want anyone blowing up the comments saying it didn't work for them, you're still having the error, blah blah blah, that kind of thing. This is a temporary fix, it is an option. If the problem persists, I recommend you reinitialize your console, which actually I have to do because mine's laggy too. Um, but the nature of the problem is this should at least help with the issue. Not, not fully resolve, because it will happen again just due to the engineering of the console and the memory, but it will help. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and turn off the console. All right, so once you've powered off your console completely and you're back on your blank TV screen, what you're gonna do is hold the power button for roughly seven seconds. You will hear a series of beeps and then it will enter safe mode. So we're just gonna keep holding. And we heard that beep. And then you're gonna get this message that pops up and you're gonna to have to connect your controller um, via the cable because it is not gonna be accepting wireless um, signals. Once you have your controller connected and this menu will come out, in the top left you can see it says safe mode. That means it just loads the basic, only the core files of what the system needs to run. Um, but anyways, once you're in this screen, you're gonna see the following seven options. Um, most of them we really don't need to worry about. Um, if you're going to initialize your PS4, um, it's usually the bottom two options. You can see my other video for a full tutorial on that, but we're not going to discuss that here. What we're actually going to be going to is rebuild the database. So when you think of your computer and you essentially defragment the hard drive, what you're doing is reorganizing stuff and it's going to take all the clutter on your drive and essentially line it up in a way that's going to be easier for the hard drive to read and access, thus making the computer faster and more efficient. Um, I'm not totally sure on PlayStation, but I believe it rebuilds the uh, cache or the stored set of instructions for your for the console to read, which also just makes it faster because it doesn't have to reach out to other parts of the system. Not that you care, but that's what it does. So we're just gonna go ahead and click rebuild database. And this message will come up, but you don't have to worry about it. Most of them are very, very quick. Um, mine usually takes about 30 seconds. But if yours takes longer, it means you probably haven't done it. And there might be like sector errors or just more critical errors that the uh, scanning found and it might just take a lot, little longer. Anyways, just hang tight while it does this, and I'll see you when it's done. So, once the database has been rebuilt, it will just take you back to your main screen, and what you will notice now is you'll be able to go and stream your videos or do whatever you were doing um, on your browser, or it usually occurs on the browser, um, or wherever else you were experiencing the issue. You will, you will find that that will be resolved, if not, it means there's a more severe problem, as I mentioned earlier, and you're going to want to click on the how to initial your PS4 link that I will have down below. 
Hopefully this will help, have, has helped you, and I'll see you guys on the next one.